we are all here. Every bud of light represents something eternal and everlasting. And every bud of light is really a butterfly. A butterfly represents growth and change with perspective, as we all know. In the dark, you can find many magical things, many different things to be aspired. But what is most is where people that are pagan or otherwise can hide and lurk in the darkness. The control over society has ended, and a new butterfly arises. It is the ancient covenant of Baal. Human consciousness is rising. How far it rises is dependent on multiple things and how far we're willing to go to take our own consciousness. There are so many different things that everybody can go through. Everybody needs to go through this and understand ancient secrets, the mystical arts, because in a way everybody kind of is being initiated into a higher sense of being. We are powerful individuals. We know and we care. Everybody needs to start understanding the evolution of all mankind and the assimilation of all mankind into higher beings higher beings of ultimate reality, the higher beings of persuasion, answers to the absolute. Everything is occult. Occult just means hidden. And there are so many mystical things to get devout about because everything in perspective of society will change to where it becomes more acceptable. Because everybody is going to start understanding that there's more. Like, for example, here is a Halloween decoration. The black cat. It is already being normalized in society, so don't start blaming people for normalizing it. Instead, you need to understand that there's actually a mystic side to humanity and that there's a reason for such normalization of such contexts. And it is said throughout history that Saturn is the planet of the witches. And what is witchcraft? What is it specifically? It is um, the control of desire, the control of will to one's own necessary change. Everybody has their own will. Everybody has their own design will, designed will to go out. And it's not intentionally, intentionally uh, normalized either. It is the interest of, hum of the humans that normalizes it. And this is becoming a new era. In the 1970s and 80s, every 18 years of uh, processional... Uh, change within the north and the poles, the, the polar shift. It is every 18 years or every 20 years, 9 years or 18, 9 plus 9, humanity will eventually make another step of evolutionary process or evolutionary change to match what is currently going on. We need something more than some priest telling us what is true, we need to figure out what is true on our own account and having our own basis and knowledge to supersede anything that came before. Anything that really came before. This. This is the mystical symbol of the skeleton. Or the skull. Specifically the skull. You can kind of see that this is the front, this is the back, and this is where the ancient knowledge was held. And on the other side, we see hieroglyphs, hieroglyphs, of many ancient arts. 
this is a very powerful symbol. And it's something that everybody needs to find a way to respect. It's, it, is, it is true that there's a lot of information stored in here from generations of um, a lot that is creating this change. A lot of people are finding more interest in what's locked up in here and creating more action. Because remember, the element of fire is the element of passion, which leads to action. Becoming more powerful in a stable job, for example, or be paying the rent, or anything like that, is passion, which is physical fire. And it is true, humanity has already learned how to uh, walk on all fours. All it needs to do is start learning how to adapt certain types of stuff, mentalities, um, day-to-day basis, maturity, growth, that it needs to partake in and actually go into account of and understand. Like, for example, this ring right here. It is a hexagonal shape. It is the shape of what is on top of Saturn. Saturn is the master of the wishes. Most importantly, it is the master of Capricorn, the Zodiac. Again, the Zodiacs are very important to learn because the Zodiacs... It's just everything about the spiritual world. Eventually, everybody will start assimilating too. Because there's a lot of personality traits found within the zodiac of the individual. Rather than what is found in your psychological pages. Pages and all this stuff. Everything. We are on a, a, a walking step. Step by step by step. To uh, an ascension. But in order to actually get some form of ascension we need to go into the descent the unknown realms and the Carl Jung philosophy the Jungian philosophy says that is our subconscious and is 95% of what of why we do what we do and there's a lot of darkness within the subconscious because we would rather shut out what makes us quote unquote here horrid beings but what really makes us horrid is a separation between uh of the separation of what it makes us putrid what makes us putrid is um anti-mature thoughts um actions that cause more harm and all this type of stuff and you need to mature about it and rise in a way of ascent into understanding again uh, but that doesn't really necessarily create the descent. The descent is the abyss. And a lot of uh, art pieces of artwork have done this. A lot of movies, a lot of video games have talked a lot about the philosophy of this um, descent. And it all has to do with this. Not this. This is what it looks like on the outside, you see. Because, again, the cracks of the skull and the separation of the bones match perfectly with the beetle's wings. So this is what we look like on the outside, but this is what we're hiding. And this is why we are escalating from religion. Because there is something more to life than what our religious doctrine commands to us. And there is so much more than what religion has been saying and trying to convince of us because all religion doesn't surpass this. It doesn't go past this. But what is hidden or occult is within the human mind already through generations and generations. And you gotta remember that Christianity is imploding or exploding like a supernova or imploding like a, like a white star and it's in this dying breaths because it is trying to take away what is really within our subconscious mind so we should go more about what is this and again it, it changes something as simple as a halloween decoration into something way more like what is the black cat is said to be bad luck but this is really just propaganda against the types of black cats that would rather be into mystics or the unseen or the misunderstood type of black cats or the black cats that really could have um, killed all the plague rats in the black plague but for some reason the religious church uh, decided to kill all black cats as it was superstition.
And again, this will turn back into, into this. You gotta learn how the natural procession of human knowledge and the human understanding is changing gradually where we have to adapt and change to this. The secret eye, which is not Illuminati, because again, there are doubters here. But the third eye is enlightenment, the, the Kundalini. Why do you think they don't want, the religion doesn't want us to revere the serpent? Because the Indian, the Indies, the Indian philosophers believe that we were enlightened through the Kundalini. And when, uh, when the British army tried to take over India and the Indians, they started seeing that the people that had a lot of strength in Kundalini could not be controlled, like, at all. We really are becoming great. The evolutionary path of humanity is going through great technological evolvement. And ever since 19, the 1960s, we have had stepping stones every 9 to 18 to 25 years to where we are becoming more enlightened. And that such connections like YouTube, for example... We've never really seen this type of stuff before uh, in the 20th century. And the amount of content being shared and indulged and the comments and the philosophies of differences of mind within the comment sections of all the videos and to show a, a certain kind of growth, everybody needs to realize and wake up that we are truly individuals. Free of all nations. Everybody needs to learn the power of the internal within. Because in the end, humanity will evolve into something far more. They, the sixth sense might, might be more normal. Again, this is all speculation, though.